Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 4, Kingdoms of Amalur. So last episode we left off, we were coming into this dungeon, and uh, we're just coming up to this group of people. And you can see with the, their, the red icons, you can see which direction they're facing. My mouse kind of situated. It was a little, it was a little jinky right there. Very, uh, very responsive. <laughs> Try to pick this open. All right, yeah, let me. Sorry for the shaking there, I'm just trying to get... There we are. I turned down the camera sensitivity a little bit just to see if that helps. Alright, so let's see, we came out that way. It's easy to get turned around in these places. Alright, we want to go up this way. seems to be a little bit better. I slept in today, so uh, all right. Here's another example coming out of a uh, out of a place. It's got a chest out here. We talked about that last episode. That's where we went in. Just stood him up there. I killed him so hard he couldn't even fall down. That's nice. After your uh, after your buff wears off from one of those shrines, you can uh, definitely reset it. All right, let's see. All right, so there were only four crates in there, so let's look around. Let's scroll out. So we've got the other six are all up in this northern end up here. So I am going to teleport up to Waterhall Down, or fast travel. And puts us a little bit closer, right? head up here. Now one of these camps we had already gotten into, right? When we were following Basically, you know, anytime you see anybody, just kill them all because, you know, like right there, there was a corpse that wasn't on the map. And I did go the wrong way. Now, these may or may not be repopulated. Doesn't look like it. But you remember when we came in here, all of these chests were not available. Well, at least the ones with the reagents that we're supposed to be destroying, right? We're not available.
but we broken all these earlier. So we'll break them again and get more gold out of it. Alright, we'll unlock this. Now we had already killed the boss here but it looks like he is the only one that respawned Ooh, mind shield what is that it's always nice when you get a purple but that's a sorcery shield that doesn't do us any good Let's see if we can sneak up on him. Maybe we can kill him. Oh, just a little bit. Nice. And another chest. Uh, let's go ahead. And so we need to get across into this other camp now. So we'll come across right here. And these guys look like they have respawned. You can see that they are moving in. Oh, hello. Fifty percent bonus experience out of that. So I don't know if you noticed when I hit when I held the attack button on the daggers. It uh, it we had taken that skill right, and it said it would charge up to five or chain up to five times. Well, you saw that we went from one to another. Uh, now that was on the attack out of the reckoning stage she bested strang in combat fair finian cycles kept the exploits of this maiden's role a burdensome and heavy toll and she lived among the mortal clans have one more their kind throughout the town down, downhill fear of the brilliant fighter near Right. So we have finished that quest. Now, Etran, let's see where he's at. I'll go out to the world map. All right, so he's far away. All right, this was a quest. I had picked this quest up. I had gone when I was between episodes when I was kind of coming up the right side of this area I went ahead and went down this path to open it up I was gonna come down and try to get here but there was too much there were a bunch of quests in here so uh, that's there we don't want to go there just yet um, I do need to get to see Aerie the Fae so let's teleport back to Waterhall And we want to head back to Gorehart. Let's go 
going to be a little bit of a run. And yeah, we want to stay left here. Oh, you know what? We do want to go this way. Looks like there's a little hidden thing over here, too. There we are. Need to kill the rest of those guys just yet. Might not need to at all. But here's Airy. There she is. Looking down over the town of Gorhart. Mayor Hollow, your fate. Have you come to ask about the Tuatha? Yes, the victim. However, it will need to be powerful. Perhaps your martial apothecary can provide one. You can always create farewell. All right, so I need a greater healing potion. All right, let's go ahead and teleport back to Gorehart. And we're going to have to go steal. I guess we could buy one. All right, remember what we learned last episode. Go do your breakdowns before you sell everything. So bucklers are finesse, so we're going to take that uh, the physical damage might help us at some point the longbow for sure I don't think that's gonna help us any, Start any trouble. oh let's go ahead and repair while we're here need? So long. Ah, I hate when I do that. Sorry, guys. That's spinning Welcome. around and. Get pot with some gold. This is just one of those games that you you know you might have to deal with that a little bit. All right, let's shop, sell all the junk. So nine items. Let's go through our inventory, see what else we want to sell. Um, the ruthless scepter. We can sell that. All right, that is a mite. That's a mite as well. I'm not going to be doing alchemy, so it doesn't do me any good to have any of this stuff. If I do pick it up, it's just, you know, we'll just sell it. We'll keep the gems and, of course, all of our crafting materials. And let's see. We've already bought the backpack from her, but, you know, it doesn't ever hurt to just check and see if she's gotten another one. Uh, and, you know what? We've got the gold. Let's go ahead and buy another stack of lockpicks. Goodbye. All right, so we need to head over to across the street here. To the alchemy shop and it does have the gold circle because that's the quest we were on so we have finished up her quest finding her uh, apprentice everyone in Gorha it is all you are a friend to this village and to me I'm sure I have a vial somewhere in this cottage but I do do you really think I'm able this is a place of research there all right so I need a greater healing potion well we could go steal it, but you know, let's uh, let's go ahead and no buy charity. it. Goodbye. Yeah, well, so I just helped you, and that's how you're gonna treat me, huh? Well, I appreciate that. But we've bought the potion that we need, and that opens up the new quest over here to bring it back. So the Gert, the Fae that was injured in episode one in the street. And the guy that was trying to help her, they've moved inside. Oh, there's a guy over here to talk to. Hey. What's yeah. this? Times are hard. If you have the sword and stomach, some mate, you'll find those who have taken the oath. You to earn it, bring me proof you've dealt with them. Osgar, bring me their legion daggers. 
And I'll peer with... <laughs> All right. Come on over. And should be right there. All right, so he you took the greater healing just potion in just in time, too. What happened here. One small misunderstanding. She is a member of the House of Bal. If one of their own was killed by a mortal, I'm not sure if the House of Bal. We could go to the War. So we can either go to the House of Ballads or go to War Sworn Keep. I'm going we there anyway. The but but let's go to the House of Ballads just because it's somewhere humble. different. Rumor says that the House of Ballads has its headquarters. It's east of here, in the meadows of. Farewell. All right, and there's the uh, girl that was injured. <laughs> All right, so we've seen Airy. Now let's check our quests. Because we also had. Oh no, we turned it into the. Uh, okay, so there's the other Crast Brothers. So we have to get over here. There's House of Ballads. That's Arden's Hut. That's where we have to go meet the Fate Weaver that we met back in episode one. Anything else that we need to do here? No. And in fact, that's the first quest here. So, all right. Well, let me get out there and I will see you guys in a second. All right, we're coming down this passageway. <clears throat> As I mentioned, I had already come down here to try to open up this zone with a uh, quick teleport ability, but never could get anywhere. All right, so we see the gray, this guy. So I've talked to him. Turns out he is a wolf in disguise, right? That's That was interesting. does get a little chaotic in combat sometimes. All right, so we've killed these three champions. Now they want us to go back to the wolf dude that's suffering a curse. And he's just wandering around over here. There he is. Two legs, do you come to me empty? The well hold throughout the before I was cursed. Leechwood. The scent of the well was strong with its odor. Return swiftly. All right. So, we need to find some leech wood first, and then find the well. So we're back up into this area. So the interesting thing about this well is it teleports through like three or four spaces. And it just kind of goes around randomly. And I'm trying to remember. All right, so we want, yeah, it's gonna be over here. So what I want to try to do is not. All right, so it was getting. So what I did is I went in for the well first because you could see it was starting to shimmer and vanish. If it would have vanished, I'd either have to change, chase it around, which would have sucked, <laughs> or I would have had to have 
uh, waited here for a little while, so I just made the decision to run in there. God. I'm gonna have to look and see. I didn't see any way to stop the, you know, to stabilize the X or Y axis. Like some games have. Uh, it is that. I now go. Now I. All right. So he's turned back into a wolf. All right. So he's good. All right. Moving on. We want to go north. All right. So we'll go up this way. Okay. Now that this is a statue of Amun. Let's check our inventory. Didn't we have a key that we got? I don't remember. Accessories, no consumables, no. Key ring. Oh, we do have an almonds key. There we go. Alright, so we can try to dispel this. We could dispel it even without the key. But it's telling me that it can only be unlocked with the proper key. Which is evidently not the one I have. Fair enough. Alright. But we've dispelled it. It's there. I guess if we ever find the keys. Alright, Gorgawath. Again, anytime you see anything like that, st step up and open it up. Dang, get off. And you can see how quick the arrows go, right? And and using the full draw takes a little while, so if you're fighting multiple creatures, that can get difficult <laughs> just leave it at that but uh again as we get more powerful they say about these stones is true but if it is well this is as we get more powerful it will be Lystrom was out of town when Artol was visiting now, something that will be able to be and strange dealt she could with be mistaken for a, fake a little leader. easier so little when easier. Lystrom came back to town here was Artol the oracular <laughs> I said to Lystrom I hear her readings are amazing you should go <laughs> my, you should have seen it. A rooster, she said, will change into a man, and this man will become your lover. He will provide for you, and he will make you laugh, and he will make your life exciting and easier. But, and this is something you can never forget, he must never eat chicken. <laughs> And once in a while, you will need to peck at things on the ground, and every morning, at the break of dawn, you'll hear a loud cry from him. Proceed no far. Hallam the White prepares the contest. No doubt, I will chastise her All right, so we've got... Attack. Tell the people of Gorhart that they have nothing to fear from... It is to fit. This is not a mortal concern. I should not be seen talking to... Her. All right, so he doesn't really tell us anything that there's a contest. But if you pay attention right on the edge of your mini map to the top right, Listen, all of you. there is now a, heard, a rare vacancy new quest. has occurred in the House of Balance. There has been an event, a great twist in the narrative of our kind. Sir Sagril has fallen. Sagril, 
Slayer. This does not confer Sagril's passing. Leaves his legend in we are our great. So they we'll learn a little bit about the ballads. Several in this telling. It was the you are bold. I want to fill the seat. But that is this would be like a human or a dwarf asking to sit on an elven Only council. Just for comparison's sake. Quest. However, if you so choose. Join the the lair of the thresh is east. Of. Go now. So what's interesting and about um you know so so yeah you you try to so you have humans or humanoids you have these the houses these are kind of your elf characters we have you know there we see gnomes in the game there are no dwarves I don't think. But, you know, you, there's comparative races, and uh, so, you know, you kind of look around and see what's going on with them. All right, let's um, gargoyle here. Let's stay on this road, and before the episode ends, in fact... Let me get up near this area and we'll come back. All right, we're coming up into this zone. And let's go ahead and take out... Oops. few more things there some daggers get our bow back on now there's too many people I think for me to charge into here That guy's pretty tough. Alright. Cleared him out. Alright, there's his blade. We'll loot the camp out. See if we can gather any uh, gold, uncover any chest in here. And I don't think these guys will repopulate. Alright, there's a hard chest. Not very hard there. And I thought I saw there's one over here too. Yep. And I think we could loot this. Awesome. All right, uh, let's see. So, what else is down here? Henry Kell. All right, I tell you what, let's head up to uh, Gorgoath, right? Let's go turn in our Gorhart quest. Get the experience points for it. This was for going to report it to the Fae, right? So we did that at the House of Ballads. So we'll come back, turn that quest in. And I don't believe there's anything like time in the game. There's, you know, there's really nothing that you have to do that's time sensitive. I made it. 
You're back. The fate Gorehart will be a new community, a place of compassion. All right, there and you it's go. Thanks to you. Please take my sword and buckler. Hope you stay in town. I don't want your sword or buckler. Greetings, stranger. I understand. All right, we have leveled up. We'll do that in just a second. But I believe Hi. we got that dagger, so we should be able. Yep, there he is. What's this? Done. Take this to Shield Ring Keep. Go north of town, then take the. You'll find Tyne Delf right there. It's him next time I see you. All right. Maybe under war sworn banners. So, Shield Ring Keep, that's the war sworn headquarters. And then we have the dungeon to go into. All right, let's go ahead and level up real quick. That'll be the last thing for this episode. Now, you can see we cannot do Detect Hidden yet because you have to be level 8. So we're going to start dropping our points into blacksmithing. And if you saved and closed your game and then restarted it, it defaults to the might. So we switch back over to finesse. And we needed 11 points, I believe, for scout. That's correct. So we are going to pick up uh, another dagger. Two more bow. And you can see Scout has now appeared in our fates. So Rogue requires one finesse point, gives you plus 10% ranged attack, 30% damage resist while dodging, and 5% piercing. So that increases to 13, 35, and 7. So we're going to confirm that. And you can see our current now is 7 physical. And we still have 6 arrows, so not great. Um, oh, we have picked up another quest out here. Always got to look around, because new quests will all, you know, can always open up. I'm sorry. Did you say something? I'm the and my try to finish one area. Hello. You know, well, try to finish together, everything in one, one area before because before then, like, watch. this quest His is going to open up the in the next area out. Had one night together. I can't give you much in return. The elf are... You might find Died some thank you for your kindness. I am that very road that was years ago. Goodbye. So if we look at the map, Dydenhall, I believe, is here. So that'll be our next zone to go to. Shieldren Keep is there. Arden's Hut is close by. Uh, Gorgawath, we already discovered that we can fast travel to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do uh, just check out. Oh, let's real quick, real quick. All right, because we just took our first point in blacksmithing, right? All right, so let's. Now we can salvage maybe better things. But now we can craft things. Not much better. But uh, eventually we'll open up that third one. So let's just, just for comparison, we've got daggers so you can see the steel blades. A crude hilt does three physical. And then we can compare that. So we're currently using the smoldering daggers, so we would gain one physical, one piercing, and then we would have three physical more instead of fire. We do lose the dot, but that's not bad. I mean, that's, you know, we actually gain three, uh, two points of damage. The dot... Again, those don't stack, so you're only going to apply that to one each person one time, typically, right? And bows are our primary. This is daggers are just to get us through. So let's. Uh, what do we want to call this? All right, we'll come up with a stupid name because they're all physical damage, right? We'll do that. And any armor. Cruise over here. Uh, ooh, we can make a buckler. Five health. Again, that doesn't do anything for us. I need to, I guess I need to go check out 
if the uh, if the bonuses from this, like the elemental resistance, that might actually be better. So I'm going to say no. I'm just going to hit escape and back out of that. And compare this one. Now we will lose plus two stealth by removing another set of imminent. But that doesn't hurt us because we don't do that. And we do gain another 5%. Uh... If I'm not going to keep them, and a lot of times I don't rename them in the first place, uh, but if I'm not going to keep them, I just use the default leggings and, and then let it take care of itself. All right. We, ooh, that's right. We got uh, our, our level here. So armor of fire shield. Oh, we just found those. We just found those. All right. That'll be good. So we'll add that to junk. Don't need the robes. Uh, we're going to take the critical leggings. Now we will lose that. And you know what? We'll do that. Got my longbow. Not going to use those. And let's switch over to the physicality daggers. All right, well, guys, hit that like button. Let Come me know here. in the comments you what you think, if you want to see more of this. And uh, we will see you in the next episode. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.